Hello children and welcome to another story time. Today's book is all about numbers. These numbers aren't doing boring sums, they're off to the Olympics. Mixed up numbers by Lydia Shaw. The numbers were so lucky. This week they were attending the Olympic Games. It had been fun watching all the sportsmen and women competing but it had also been a very busy week. They had been counting scores, tracking times and awarding medals. And by now, number one was really tired. Guys, can we swap places? I'm tired of always having to go first, it said after another first place and gold medal. All the numbers were excited. They were happy to mix themselves up a bit and maybe get a chance to give out some medals. Before anyone else could say anything, number two stepped forward. I should go first because as second in command, I have the most experience. Number three and number eight said they didn't mind who went first as long as they could go next to each other. They never got a chance to hang out together. So they all lined up. Two, four, five, six, seven, three, eight, nine, ten, one. Ready to help out at the next race. But when the runners came out, they were confused because they didn't know which lane to start in. So, the numbers decided to try a new order. Number six said, I should go first. We need a cool number at the front. And what is cooler than hearing S-I-X-6? Number ten wanted to move too. Standing next to number one is too confusing. People can't tell us apart. Luckily, number five offered to swap places. And they lined up again. Six, two, four, ten, seven, three, eight, nine, five, one. However, when it was time to give out the medals, everyone got upset that the numbers gave bronze to the fourth athlete and gold to the runner who came in sixth place. The numbers realised they needed to mix it up again. Number nine said, Let me go first. I'm always at the end. I never get to go first. Meanwhile, number four and number two had started to squabble. So number six had to go in between them. They lined up again. Nine, two, six, four, ten, seven, Three, eight, five, one. Just as the spectators were coming into the arena. The numbers noticed that the crowd were getting angry. What's wrong? Number five asked an official. No one can find their seat number, explained the man. Oh dear, thought the numbers. The numbers looked around at the mess. And then number seven piped up. How about we try it the old way? It suggested. All the numbers looked at each other and then at number one. Okay, guys, thanks for giving me a break, said number one. I think we are all important, but keeping our normal order might help everyone else to know what they need to do and where they need to go. So the numbers lined up, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. And as they entered the stadium, the crowd and the athletes all began to cheer. The end. I hope you like that story, children. You see, sometimes it's good to follow the order the numbers came in even if we can move them around however we want. I'll see you next time for another story time. Take care. Bye.